Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are around the world. We just want to remind you, of course, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another NHL player series uh, from the Hockey Nation Live Show. Today, Coach Frenchy is going to talk about the career of Ken Dryden. Don't go nowhere. Here we go. Welcome back to another great video of the NHL player series flashback of the Hockey Nation Live Show. But before we start, we invite you, don't forget, please, to subscribe to the Hockey Nation Live Show on Facebook page and our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, we would like if you can click on the likes and finally give us your comments about the career of Ken Dryden. Let's dive in to talk about one of the greatest goaltenders in the history of NHL. Here we go. Let's talk about Ken Dryden. The first I want to mention, he was a 14th overall pick by the Boston Bruins, the third round by the Boston Bruins. Uh, during his first year in NHL, this was really unique. First of all, he played only six games. He called a call up from the Nova Scotia Voyager American Hockey League after an injury of Rogi Vachon. Um, during that time with the Montreal Canadiens in six games, he had a goal again, average of six, the 1.65, save percentage of 0.957. But right away, he make his name in NHL because he won the Stanley Cup and he won also the Connie Smythe um, with a record of a 12 W and 8 loss with a save percentage of 0.91 and 4. And uh, also a goal, again, average of 3.01. Remember that year, Montreal was not favorite to win the Stanley Cup, and they find a way uh, to win it. Um, and also, one more thing happening. The following year, in 1971 and 1972, with the Montreal Canadiens, where he was his first full-time in NHL, he bring a record of 39.815 for a save percentage of 0.930 and also a record of a 2.24 for the goal again average and during that year unfortunately during the playoff they lost the first round he got a 2 w4 loss for the save percentage of 0.911 and a goal again average of 2.85 but this what it was unique he won the trophy culture as a rookie of the year but what happening also, he became the only player in the history and NHL won the Connie Smythe prior. The, he won the Calder Trophy for the rookies. Never happened in NHL, and I don't think so. It will happen. <laughs> also, this is really unique, to be honest with you. 1972 and 1973, he bring a record of 33-7-13 with a save percentage of 0.9. Two, six, and a goal again average of 2.26 and during that year during the playoff won his second Stanley Cup with a record of 12 W5 loss for the save percentage of 0.907 and a goal again average of 2.90 uh, again Ken Dryden make another difference for that Stanley Cup now the following year 1973-1974 he decided to not play what are you talking about, coach? The Montreal Canadiens did not offer him enough money. He was upset because of the offer of the Montreal. He decided to stop to play hockey for one year and pursue his um, school as a, become a lawyer and, and uh, as his life. And he went back to the school and for one year. Now he decided after that in 1974 and 1975 to return in NHL, accept the contract on Montreal Canadian, and he bring a record of 39 and 16 for the save percentage of 2.906, uh, I'm sorry, and a goal again average of 2.70. And during that year and the playoff, he bring a 6W5 loss, save percentage of 916, and a goal again average of 2.54. He did not win the Stanley Cup at that year. 
1975 and 1976, it was the beginning of a great, maybe one of the best ride of the Montreal Canadiens. First, he bring a record of 42-10 in eight with a save percentage of 0.927. And a goal again average of 2.03. And during the playoff, listen, the Montreal Canadiens win the Stanley Cup in only 13 games. And with a record of for Ken Dryden, a 12 1 with a save percentage of 0.929. A goal again average of 1.92. Again, this was his third Stanley Cup for him. And 1936, 1937. 41, 6, and 8 with a save percentage of 0 0.920 and a goal again average of 2.14. During the playoff, again, they won the Stanley Cup and 14 game with a record of 12 and 2 with a save percentage of 0.932, 1.56. A second, uh, second year back to back, they won the Stanley Cup. It was his fourth as a Hockey players won the Stanley Cup. 1977-78, he bring a record of 37-7-7, seven, and seven, a save percentage of 9-2-2 with a goal again average of 2.05. He won the Stanley Cup in 15 games. He have a save percentage of 9-2-0 with a goal again average of 1.90. And it was now a back-to-back-to-back only win the Stanley Cup 1978-1979. Uh, this was his last year and in, uh, in NHL. He has a 30-10-7 save percentage of 0 .909 with a goal again average of 2.30 during the playoff in 16 game only. They won again the Stanley Cup for the fourth straight time with a save percentage of 0.899 and a goal again average of 2.50. That was the last season in NHL. He won uh, for the sixth time the Stanley Cup um, with um, the Montreal Canadiens. Now, during his eight year and during his career in NHL, guys, he has a 258W, 57 loss, 74 tie with a save percentage of 0.922. Goal again average of 2.24. And of course, during the playoff, you have a 80 W, 32 loss only. Save percentage of 9.15. And a goal again average of 2.41. Listen, imagine if this goaltender has a career of longevity more at only eight years, what he could accomplish. Uh, one of the greatest uh, hockey players, to be honest with you, in NHL. Let's move on to the next graphic and this one i want to talk about ken dryden born in hamilton ontario uh, august 8 1947 uh, he have an amazing great career at the cornell university he started 81 game and he won 76 w game and he won three times the championship over there then after that he moved to the american hockey league in nova scotia voyager and he was called up right away but before that, in 1979, he represented Team Canada uh, for the country. Um, I want to give you a little bit more information about his career overall. Um, Ken Dryden played eight years, won six times the Stanley Cup. He was five-time All-Star Game participate. He won five times in eight years, guys, the Vizna Trophy. He won also the Connie Smythe Trophy in 1970-71, during his first year in NHL, he won after that right away the trophy Calder as a rookie of the year, 1971-1972. The Montreal Canadiens retired his jersey on January 29, 2007. He, was become, he became a member of the Hall of Fame in 1983, participated at the series summit again, the Russia 1972. And then, of course, he was his trademate, trademark pose. He was leaning upon his stick. What everybody remember that pose, to be honest with you. The next one I want to talk about is, of course, he was the brother of Dave Dryden, played in NHL. Remember his first game in NHL? He played again 
Dave uh, uh, for the Buffalo Sabres. Um, one thing nobody, I, I did not know that, Kendra never knew he was drafted by the Boston Bruins. His agent told him this during the middle of 1970s. Can you believe it? He was drafted and he never, he never knew about this. Uh, he's the only player, of course, the one that Connie Smythe before he won the Calder Trophy in NHL. He did not play, like I mentioned earlier, 1933-74 year because of contract issues with the Montreal Canadian. And he was ranked the 25th of the 100 greatest hockey player in the NHL history. Finally, he started to play with the Montreal. He was traded by the Boston Bruins to the Montreal Canadiens with Alex Campbell in June 28, 1964. That's amazing. For Guy Allen and Paul Reid. Um, what happened also after his career of eight years in NHL? He had a lot of things he did, to be honest with you. First, he wrote books. Uh, Ken Riley was a great, great, smart person. So he wrote many, many books about hockey. Uh, the last one is about Scotty Bowman, but he wrote different things about hockey. Uh, then also he become, um, became a commentator of the NB with NBC, Al Michael, Michael uh, covered Olympics, the 1980, remember, the, one, the, the miracle on the ice by the, the Team USA. He also did 84 and 88. At some point, he became a sport executive with the Toronto Maple Leaf, played a different role. One at, the, at some point, he was the president of the team. And also, he became a special visitor or special uh, advisor for the Miguel University since 2012. And finally, he also uh, became a political career. One what at some point was the minister of the social development for the Canada. Look, this is amazing to talk about Ken Dryden, one of my icon uh, idol also when I was watching the Montreal Canadian. Of course, I'm from Montreal, so um, Ken Dryden, I, I just enjoyed watching him. And of course, remember his pose and uh, leaning of his stick. This complete uh, the career of Ken Dryden for another um, NHL player flashback series. Before we leave, we invite you, don't forget to subscribe to the Hockey Nation Live Show on Facebook page and YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed this video, we'll invite you to click on the likes and leave your comments. Tell me more about what you think or remember of the career of Ken Dryden. And of course, you have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, great day, everybody. I look forward to see you for the next NHL player flashback series video. Bonne journée, mes amis. On se reparle plus tard pour une autre vidéo de Hockey Nation Live Show.